every morning, get up and uh, with the violin every morning, get out of the case, tune it up, and I have to play, and uh, I have to play to to to, to express myself, and um, I, I'm, I've got a very busy summer this summer because I've been invited to do some concerts in New York in October, and the the people I'm playing with are at Juilliard and at Manhattan School. They're world class musicians. I'm very honoured to be going to play with them, but. That means I need to practice. To <laughs> I have to practice a lot. The nice thing about teaching string instruments is that one of the most effective ways of teaching is to play alongside. So it's very good for, for me to maintain my playing because I will teach four or five hours a day and I'll be playing for three or four of those hours um, alongside. Um, and the, the, the sound is intuitively passed from one to the other, unspoken. Um, so when it's successful, it works really well and the child learns very, very quickly. I studied violin at uh, the Royal Northern College of Music um, in Manchester and I studied with a very um, eminent Russian teacher called Lydia Mordkovich and she, uh, she was a pupil of David Oistrakh who was one of the great legends of the 20th century. I then went and studied with uh, a teacher called Emmanuel Hurwitz who came from a different tradition. And eventually I, f I finished my studies with um, the Russian violinist Mikhail Koppelman, who was the vi first violin in the, the Borodin String Quartet. Um, and all of these people, they bring different backgrounds and history and a sort of approach to making sounds. Um, after studying, I, I was a, um, a freelance musician for many years. I used to play with the Philharmonia Orchestra in London and the English Chamber Orchestra. The Euro European Community Chamber Orchestra. I spent a lot of my 20s in aeroplanes traveling around the world. I'm never afraid to ask the best people to come and help me um, and that you'll always find that really talented people love helping. So I've invited many very very eminent musicians to come to Andal to work with us. Um, I, I, became a great friend of Jeremy Menuhin, who is Yehudi's son, and uh, he's a, a fantastic pianist. He's been on several occasions. And, you know, we, we, we just work together to create musical opportunities for everybody. And, you know, the greatest musicians all remember that first lesson and that first journey on their musical lives, and they love, love to share that with other people.